Bryce Alt is here, Doctor of Audiology at Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to initiate a remote programming session using Oticon Remote Care. Remote programming is an awesome capability of modern hearing aids that allows your hearing care professional to check in on you as well as make programming adjustments to your hearing aids regardless of where you are physically in the world as long as you have a decent internet connection. Remote programming is an available feature for any of Oticon's Bluetooth capable hearing aids that came out on or after the initial release of the open line of devices in 2016. Before we schedule a remote session through Oticon, we have to first download the Remote Care app to your phone and then register you for an account. When scheduling a remote programming session, we block off our schedule for the required amount of time, just like an in-person appointment. That means you have to be ready on your phone to log into the app and be ready to initiate your end of the remote session when your appointment is scheduled to begin. To initiate a remote programming session, open up the Remote Care app and tap on the My Visit button toward the bottom of the screen. You will see some general tips in regard to getting ready for your session, including a general recommendation to keep your phone plugged into power, replace your disposable batteries with fresh batteries or fully charge your device's batteries before your session, and ensure that your devices are paired with your phone. Tap the Next button at the bottom of the screen for each tip until you see the final screen. Wait until you see the app confirm that you are ready for your session, then tap Start Visit at the bottom of the screen. Once you hit Start, you will see a screen saying your phone is waiting for your hearing care professional to join the session. Then, once I or any of my colleagues here in the clinic initiate the remote programming session on our end, your session will automatically start once our computer establishes a successful connection to your phone. Once connected, you'll start hearing us through your phone's speaker instead of hearing us streamed directly through your hearing aids like a typical phone conversation, and that's intentional. When in a remote session, the Bluetooth connection is only used by your hearing care professional for the purposes of connecting to our programming software, checking data logging, making programming adjustments, and so forth. Almost all the programming capabilities that we would typically have in an in-person appointment are available to us programming remotely allowing us to address almost all the concerns or issues that you may be experiencing. As long as you aren't experiencing any physical issues with your hearing aids or any of your hearing aid components, then odds are we can address your concerns remotely. At the end of a remote session, we will save your programming adjustments to our database and disconnect from the remote programming session. That's it! Now, if anything is not working correctly when trying to start the remote session, Simply try restarting your phone and your hearing aids and then try again. If you're still running into issues, even after restarting your phone and restarting your hearing aids, or you get to the very end right before you hit start and you find that maybe we aren't initiating the session on our end, simply give the clinic a phone call at our regular clinic phone number and we can assist you further. As for today, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos just like this, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any ideas for future content that you want me to cover in a future video, leave a comment in the comment section below.